mind faith in words pride in soul so today we will start with the welcome speech a warm good morning i csm achia of standard 9 welcomes our honorable principal vice principal teachers and my dear fellow cadets to this 73rd republic day celebration republic day is celebrated on 26 january every year to mark the celebration of implementation of the indian constitution in 1950 Indian constitution is the longest written constitution in the old world and the hard work of the result of Dr B R Ambedkar he drafted the constitution which came into force on 26 January 1950 we are all here to celebrate the achievement of the finest democracy in the world as true citizens of the country our responsibility is to work towards the development of the country and save the land as true patriots However the true attainment of a republic is a consequence of the long freedom struggle we must not forget them and celebrate every year with the same joy and pride thank you life without music is flat now we have solo singing Hello everyone this is cadet Dina Maryam Khan wishing you all a very happy republic day this day is very important for all indians and today i'm going to talk about it republic day is celebrated every year on the 26th of january this year india will be celebrating its 73rd republic day republic day is celebrated to remember our historic moments of our nation that became an independent republic nation As we all know India got its independence on 15th August 1947 and did not have its own constitution instead India was ruled by the laws implemented by the British however after many deliberations and amendments a committee headed by Dr B R Ambedkar submitted a draft of the Indian constitution which was adopted on 26 November 1946 and officially came into force on 26 January 1950 On the same day Dr Rajendra Prasad also started his term as the first president of India and constituent assembly became the parliament of India under the under the provisions of the new constitution Let us take some time to value our nation and never forget the sacrifice made by our freedom fighters Now we have short speech on freedom fighters I cadet Samuel Raj from 8 I am an I am enacting the character Dr B R Ambedkar Cultivation of mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence Life is great rather than long Dr B R Ambedkar the father of constitution of India was born on 14th April 1891 in a Mahar family at Mau Madhya Pradesh He had earned his doctorate in economics from Columbia University in 1917. He was a boy suffering from bitter caste humiliation, became the first minister of law in free India and shaped the country's constitution. He is a very well-known political leader, intuition journalist, Buddhist Buddhist journalist, philosopher, historian, orator, writer, scholar. Dr Ambedkar fought to eradicate the social evils like untouchability and rights of the dalits 
He was posthumously awarded the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor in 1990. He believed that he believed that education would be provided in all sectors. In India observes 6th December as Mahapari Nirvan Divas to remember the to mark the death anniversary of Dr. Bhim Rao Damji Ambedkar. I carried Obedya from class 9. I am enacting the character of Sri Bhagat Singh. Sadar Bhagat Singh is one of the greatest sons of Mother India. He is acknowledged by most of the Indians as the greatest martyr of India. His, he was born on 11th November in 1907 at the Banga village. His aim as a child was to force out the cruel Britishers out of the soil of India. He was against blind violence. He wanted to awaken the deaf Britishers to listen to the voice of Indians who were demanding freedom. Not only did he love freedom for the country, but also he was socialist and secular to the core. Jai Hind. Education imparted by heart can bring revolution in the society. By Abdul Kalam Azad. Good morning to one and all and wishing a happy Republic Day to all. I am Ahil Anu from 8B and today I am going to share a few words on Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad. He is the most prominent freedom fighter of our country. He was born on 1888 in Saudi Arabia. Throughout his life, he loved education and believed educating people can bring slavery down. He was very overwhelmed, overwhelmed by Gandhi's idea on bringing independence to non-violence freedom struggle. These were a few of his etiquettes. He was a great poet, a philanthropist. He believed education is a key way to remove slavery and bring awareness among people. He fought for freedom with other freedom fighters and together brought independence into the country. After independence, he became the first education minister of India. He is a very honored person in India for his freedom struggles. Thank you and have a good day. Good morning to all of you. Mishita here from AT. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit was born in Allahabad on August 18, 1900 and was given the name Swarup Kumari Nehru. She was the eldest daughter of Brahmin lawyer. She was 11 years younger than her brother, India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru. She was educated in Switzerland and she, she was influenced by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi and became identified with the struggle for independence. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit was an Indian diplomat. She was a politician and active in Indian freedom movement, held high national and international position. She was the first lady to carry a cabinet post before independence. She was selected Minister of Public Health. She controlled till 1939. Her slogan was, more we sweat, the less we bleed. To me, India is a land of beauty and generosity, of traditional hospitality and acceptance of many culture. She was named Vijay Lakshmi Pandit after marriage. Namaste everyone. I, Kedir Dashna Kes from class 8 will be enacting Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu, the Nightingale of India, an Indian political activist, feminist, poet and first to fight for women's rights. She was born on the 13th February 1879 in Hyderabad. Sarojini was the first woman to be the president of the Indian National Congress and to be appointed as an Indian state governor. Sarojini was one of the fierce freedom fighters who made valiant efforts by joining the Indian independence movement and the Gandhiji Satyagraha movement. She was present multiple times for joining the civil disobedience movement and the Quit India movement. Sarojini Naidu was a famous poet. Her literary works were admired all over the world. She received the Kaiser He Hind medal by the Britishers for her work in the plague epidemic. But she returned the award after the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. I would like to mention a quote by Sarojini Naidu. If you are stronger, you have to help the weak. The Hind. Last but not the least, we have vote of thanks. Good morning one and all. I, Kerit Don Joshua, on behalf of the NCC cadets of KTP High School, first of all, I extend my most sincere thanks to the Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. With His blessings and grace, we are able to make this event what it was. Secondly, I would like to thank our Principal and Vice Principal for guiding us and giving us such a great opportunity to organize this program virtually. I would also like to thank First Officer Shoba Francis 
and first officer Ravindranath for giving us such a huge and humble responsibility and for believing in us. Lastly, I would love to thank all my fellow cadets who participated and gave us their time and efforts. Wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. Jai Hind! Please stand in attention for the National Anthem. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Thank you.